Sir, where in the world are you this morning? We are coming to you from a very, very windy place this morning, but it's windy right across the North Island, though. Uh, have a look at our map. This shows you where we were yesterday. Of course, we were up the road in Rotorua. We're taking a bit of an hour drive over the ranges, and we've ended up here in Tauranga on, as I say, a very gusty kind of morning. This is why we're here, and this is why we brought it here. Grown men will cry over this cup later on in the year. It is the Webb Alice Cup, and we have brought it to Tauranga. If you are in Tauranga and you want to come down, get your photo taken with it, then by all means, uh, come and join us. I'll tell you where we are in just a second. Uh, now, this morning, if you want to come and join us, we are coming to you from outside that building there. Oh, say hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, this here, for Livanaka, get that. Uh, this morning, of course, we are supporting... Fiji. What have we learnt? How do you say hello in Fiji? Bula. How do you say how are you? Bula. Nobody really knows. Bulla's as good as it gets around here. Uh, we're going to hopefully learn some more during the course of the morning, but this is where we are. We're outside the cargo shed, uh, which is on Dive Crescent, which leads uh, up onto the Strand, which is uh, the main street here in Tauranga. Of course, if you are around, come down. Get a wee bit dressed up. We're giving away some tickets to some of the matches. Uh, it would be lovely to see you. Uh, yeah, we are coming to you from Tauranga this morning, although you might just think that we were in Suva uh, by the look of us. Of course, uh, Fiji is the team that <laughs> Tauranga are supporting uh, this morning. Everybody say Bula! And you know what? We've learnt how to say how are you as well. That coming up for you very shortly. We've been doing a little bit of homework. Uh, first of all, let's get into the weather forecast for today, which is very unlike... Fiji right now around here. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit cloudy, a little bit windy as well. That's as islandish as it gets this morning. Look at us. We've, we've really rolled out the red carpet around here. Uh, I want you to have a look at some of the outfits that people have turned up in this morning. Take a little scan around here. Uh, we've got our lady in the bikini. Do a little <laughs> bikini with thermals as well, can I say, underneath. Let's not fool ourselves. We're not really in Fiji. Uh, over on here, we've got we've got a Fijian rugby jersey. Our mate down here has gone to quite a bit of effort. Over on this side, we've had quite a bit of effort put in as well. Uh, Fiji, Fiji. Uh, have a look just behind here. Boom. Look at that. What are you? Palm tree. You're a palm tree. Um, similar to the Fijian flag. Uh, we've got a mate here with the Web Alice Cup, his version of it, and uh, Team Fiji rugby down on this side as well. This is how you say... How are you in Fiji? And of course, there's a few dialects. Uh, the one that I've learnt is Saba Thava Tiko. Say it again, everybody. Saba And now let's say it as one. Saba Thava Tiko. There you go. Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are coming to you from Tauranga this morning with a very, very big crowd. We packed into the cargo shed this morning. And I've got to say, how many people can you fit into a shed? Quite a few. Say hi, everyone. It is jam-packed in here. Uh, despite that, uh, we, we're still here. We've still got smiles on, and this morning we are supporting uh, Fiji as part of our Rugby World Cup 2011 road show. We're on a couch right now. Why? Because we can. The difference with this couch is that it starts up. Go for it, Daryl. And I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do around, uh, around Tauranga and also the bay as well during the time of the Rugby World Cup. Uh, let's cruise along just a little bit. Give me about a metre. Over on here, this is, um, these guys do trike adventures. It's called Katipo Adventures. Uh, they take you out and about on a trike and you can jump on uh, groups, group tours or self-guided tours as well. Uh, something a little bit different. Yeah, apparently you don't need a, um, a motorbike licence as well. You can just ride that by itself. Something to do during the time of the Rugby World Cup around here in Tauranga. On James. Uh, this here is the blow cart. And blow carts, uh, they've got a purpose-built track out in Papamore. You can go for a little blast around in the blow cart. Apparently it's for all ages as well. And you don't need much wind, about five knots is what they say. And James, I mean Daryl, <laughs> uh, this year, uh, they've got stand-up paddle boards as well. So you or a group of you could head out on the stand-up paddle board, uh, take a lesson. Of course, the bay is known for all of its beautiful beaches and its water as well. So uh, you can head out and have a wee cruise around on that. Rawdon and Petra. Wonderful, Tommy. You just take it easy, mate. Oh, take it easy. He is busy as a flea in a fit. Yeah, I was about to say, as soon as he's off air, he's, <laughs> oh, no, he's not stood up there yet. you go. <laughs> he's cueing people with his finger, the you, mighty you, finger I of I heard your tummy Tommy rumble there. You need a good, good bit of Fijian Kai, more. mate. Hey, look, if you want to know what the real New Zealand <laughs> festival events it's are... It's moving. On... <laughs> it was moving. Can we reverse? <laughs> 
Real New Zealand Festival is happening in a town near you. It's happening basically over the whole country. Look at that awesome couch. Yes, that's right. We've had three weeks of the roadshow on tour all up and down the country. It's done uh, quite a few miles. Uh, but this morning, right now, uh, we're coming to you with a couple of, um, well, a couple of rugby giants. Uh, on this side of me, uh, we've got a giant rugby ball, uh, which is inside the well. Um, what was your name again? Catherine. Catherine's gone and brought it down. This is breakfast. It is two days old, the cake. I said, I will eat it with scepticism, uh, but she's gone and brought it down anyway. On this side of me, Inga Tuigamala, how you doing? Oh, fantastic, Tamari. All right, don't talk too soon. We've got a bit to talk about you and me, uh, but first of all, we need to get into the weather forecast. So hold tight for a second. You're on TV. <laughs> this is cool. We've got we've got a wee crowd uh, that's gathered inside the roadshow truck. Uh, of course, everyone's here to see you, mate. Inga Tukumala, I can't believe I'm standing here next to you. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, somebody. It's great to be here in Tauranga. All right. You're here, uh, of course, uh, supporting ANZ in their campaign. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, ANZ Bank has a fantastic competition, which is called uh, Future Captains, and it's an opportunity to select 96 kids around the country to run onto the field with uh, the international captains and stand alongside them and sing their national anthem. Yeah, that's a pretty big deal. I can only imagine as a kid going out there with all of these eyes of the crowd staring down at you. It must be a bit of a bit of a, a thrill, I should think. Uh, certainly an opportunity that uh, money can't buy. You know, they'll live with, it will live with them for the rest of their lives. Yep. And so it's a wonderful opportunity. And I think ANZ has given that opportunity for these young kids to get alongside it. Um, you can go on to, online on www. Uh, dot uh, futurecaptains.co.nz and any adults can um, nominate any child and if that child wins you as a parent can um, accompany that child to, to the game. Oh, nice. That sounds, it really is a great competition. There you go, 96 kids, that's how many they're looking for. Uh, but right now we've got a little bit of a competition, all right? Uh, we've got these guys behind us. These are the, what is it, under nine? Yeah. Under nine, Tauranga Sport Blues. There you go, under nines, and I've said to them, you know what, to be a good captain, you need a good game face. You need a great game face. So, this is their game face. The winner's going to get a prize. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Pretty good. It's pretty scary, ain't it? Pretty scary, all right. You've got to pick two winners out of this. Definitely. Pick your two. Who are your two? Well, this young fella here. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas. Well, congratulations, Lucas. Congratulations, Lucas. And this, and this fella here. What's, what's your, your name? name? Nathan. Nathan. And Nathan. Nathan. Down in the back there. Big round of applause, everybody. There you have it. Nice to have you on the show, bro. Thanks, Tommy. Appreciate good. that. The yeah, that's right. And also test the waters and see how enthusiastic people are getting. And I can say that here in Tauranga, people are uber enthusiastic. Oh, this is Elijah. Hi, Elijah. Hi, Tamati. Who do you hope will win the World Cup? Uh, I prefer my bad breast. I hope Fiji will win the World Cup, but it's a New Zealand home game. But I think New Zealand will win the World Cup. But, but you want Fiji to win. Yeah, yeah I'm a Fiji. Uh, you want Fiji to win. Yeah, I want Fiji to win. Yeah. So, did, so does our mate down here. Have a look at this sign. It says, Fiji, although you are a small island, you are very, very big in heart, soul, and rugby. Good luck. Wait for it. Spin around, mate. I made this sign to try and get on TV. Write the sign and it will work. Good on you, mate. This is quite possibly the biggest barbecue that I have ever seen, that you may ever seen as well. Can we just open this, mate? Yeah, Let's have a look in here. All right, so this is where you store them, uh, store the sausages, store the meat, uh, just to keep it warm. And all morning long, our mates have been cooking up uh, free sausages, sausages and a bread for everybody, nice and free. Uh, keep coming down this way. Open this one up. You can stash some stuff in here too. This morning we've got chicken in there and you can have a couple of layers in. Keep moving down here because we've got in here beef, pork belly and and pork ribs as well. Again, a few tears in there that you can use to cook with. And uh, down here is where we've got the sausages that have been cooking all morning long. Again, two compartments full and um, I've got to say it's been keeping the masses quite happy this morning. All right, keep coming through here because this morning this is when we uh, announce our best dressed fans. Say hello everyone. Yeah! Lots of people have come dressed this morning. Uh, I want to point out this lovely lady over here. What's your name? Uh, Michelle. Michelle. Uh, this is a game board. She's made up her own match board and she's going to be hanging it up and uh, also writing in the scores during the uh, matches, uh, during the time of the Rugby World Cup. You've got all your flags in here as well in polystyrene. So when 
the United States of America plays, you take it out and you put it in the relevant rugby ball, wherever they uh, are playing. It's all very good. Congratulations. You've gone and won for yourself some tickets to one of the matches. Big round of applause. And uh, also, uh, we've got our little guy over here uh, who's come down with his mum. And if you have a look, can we just hold this down a little bit? This here is a stadium. And it's got rice bubble people and ro no, 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 they're rocks actually all around the outside, just depicting all of the people that will be watching the matches. Congratulations. We've also given you some uh, tickets to the match as well. Oh, cool. Thank you. All good. All good. Uh, there you have it. That's it from us. Happy Friday. Uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you uh, bright and early on Monday where we'll be coming to you from South Auckland. We'll see you then. Rodney